<clears throat> Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hello, how are you, Oscar? Hello. Good evening, Mr. Lopez. Good evening, uh, Giovanni. How are you today? I'm very well. Thank you so much uh, for asking. What about you? I'm doing good. Doing good. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, wonderful. I'm so happy, yeah. Mr. Lopez. Yeah. So. And here is it's raining a little bit over here, but uh, one, one, one comment. Yes, Oscar. Uh, oh, Oscar. Do, do, you know, do you know if this uh, this platform? I mean, Zoom is like a kind of a demanding of uh, let's say bank in in terms of bandwidth on internet because you know always always uh, almost all the time it has happened to me that a certain point of the of the class. Uh, you starting to break you know, really, really bad, and, and I got upset when that uh, happened to me. Uh, really? I want to take advantage if that uh, has happened to any of you, class. No, I don't think so. You're using the free version, right? <clears throat> mm, yeah, yeah. The, yeah, the, but uh, if you have, it shouldn't be something. Maybe your internet connection sometime breaking out. Um, because even mm -hmm. though you're using the free, the free, the free um, platform, so it, if you're invited as a guest, it shouldn't uh, take you out or the meeting or nothing. The problem is when you you make a, a group a meeting and then you're the and then yeah, it give you like fifty minutes. A uh, year ago, two years ago, it was like like thirty minutes, forty five minutes. Now it's like fifteen minutes. So, but, but in this in this case, I mean, you are the host, so yeah, I'm the guest. I'm, I, I understand that, that there's no reason to have there that is, problem. The, there is no issue. Is like you know, all the, all the time, it, the same happened to me. Yeah, all there the time. Maybe it might be the uh, internet connection. You know what I do? It's really? even though my Wi-Fi is really good, I use a cable. Ah. When I teach, I use a cable. So I connect ah. the internet uh, straight to the computer. If you have a computer, I ah. suggest you to do that. Uh, yes, Giovanni? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's regarding to the concern uh, about our beer. Yes, in addition, Oscar, I suggest that you can try to verify it in updates. Probably you have an update available and you need to install already. Oh, yes, you need to take care about that and after that, you will be fixed. Uh, that's uh, an that's update, another issue. An update or, or what of the uh, operating system? Or... No, in order to zoom up. In order to zoom, it's on the uh, down corner on your right. There is a uh -huh. notification that says uh, that it says which application or what uh, needs updated. It's a okay. low corner on your right. Yeah. So that means that, that means that any any of the classmates right here hasn't complained about this. Any no. Time? No. Actually no. Actually, had issues. Actually, had issues, Oscar, and that's what I'm telling you this. Because oh. I have an update and that I'm, that I need to to uh, oh, okay. to install on my you know, system. That's what I'm telling you. And are All you right. connected yeah. on your computer or cell phone? Uh, yes, I'm from I'm connected from my computer. So is is that uh, fixed that that issue that you have? Oh yeah, actually in both <laughs> from my cell phone and from my computer too. <laughs> That's what I'm telling oh, you. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah, but uh, try to work with the cable as well. Uh, that will help you a lot because even though my in, my Wi-Fi is 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 uh, pretty good, not very good, but pretty good. Uh, when I teach, I always use a cable. Okay, it's straight to the modern, and, okay. and you see over there, it's it's over here. <laughs> It's a big blue one cable. Okay, guys. So welcome everybody. We're 17 out of the, um, out of the what? 30 students. Okay. So um, I would like to thank you for the ones do uh, updating the platform, doing your tasks over there. Um, well, I will send the invitation for the ones who haven't had the time. Uh, maybe it's that the issue, so please uh, work on it, okay? I would like to continue working on this one. <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> That's a joke. Okay, so 
So thank you guys. Uh, this is our 14th session, if I'm not mistaken. So um, this is uh, almost finishing. So we're going to go a little bit uh, overview real quickly because I don't want to stay a like, time. Remember that we're using uh, uh, referring to time in the past, okay? So when we use these words, ago, during, for, from, to, in uh, we are referring to uh, some things that people used to do in the past and doesn't continue in the day uh, until now. But some of the activities is pretty much related with uh, the past, the present, and may they might be confused. So for example, yesterday we say that um, World War One began in 1914. So and there was a period and um, there was a period that last. So it was the 1900s decade. So from 1900 to 1909. Remember that we say 1909, 1910. So that's that's the thing over there. So the World War I uh, began during that decade. From 1900s, to uh, 1900, uh, 19, no, no, it's 1900, 1909, during that period of time, and then ended up. So if that was over, or that was over uh, 50 years, uh, 70 years ago. So if that activity is gone, it happened, then we have a second world war uh, two, et cetera. In the United Nations, the examples that we saw yesterday before uh, has existed, has been in existence or has existed in, since 1945. And until now is, is United Nations is over there. So uh, we can use two prepositions. We can use for and we can use during. So for the last 16 years, during the last, uh, during the last uh, 60 years. So it, it's gone. I mean, it's still, I'm, I mean, it's not gone. It's still going on. So it started in the past in 1945, continues until now, and then it will continue for a couple of years more. We don't know how long, okay? And the Beatles were together for 10 years uh, from 1960 to 1970, okay? I, uh, from uh, 1960 to 1970. So that's what I yesterday said, that uh, uh, that's what I have from, we have some periods over there, there must, might be something over here, a year like it is over here, and then to 1906. Oh, okay. So a period of time, let's Page leave. 65, exercise three, grammar focus. Referring to time in the past. A point of time in the past. When did World War II take place? During the 1940s. In the 1940s, over 60 years ago, a period of time in the past. How long were the Beatles together? From 1960 to 1970. For 10 years. A period of time that continues into the present. How long has the United Nations been in existence? Since 1945. Since World War II ended. For about the last 60 years. Okay, on the first point, a period, a point of, of time in the past, this means it's not happening in, anymore. So it doesn't have anything to do with the present or the future. The same thing happened a period of time in the past, uh, another. Well, here is uh, World War II and here is the Beatles. So, um, it doesn't have anything to do with the present. So it's like, 
is gone. It was in the past, but I'm nothing to do with the present or even the future. A period of time that continues into the present it might continue in the future as well, like the United Nations that has existed since 1945, okay? And until now. Hey, guys, do you have any question about it? Do you have any question, guys? Please uh, question me. If you do, uh, be my guest. I wouldn't like to be pretending that I'm explaining everything, okay? <laughs> everything in a good way. <laughs> okay. Any any doubts? Any question? You know, again, it seems like a kind of crazy, but I start saying years or events in the past. The big work is in El Salvador it happened in 1991, for example. Okay, so start saying events in the past. Uh, what? Another that was uh, a big storm that happened in the 1976. Um, I don't re recall right now what it's called. So in a loud voice, say using, okay? Uh, during the, during the, during the what uh 2001 uh 2021 during 2021 i was living in chalatenango per saying something okay so I start saying words uh events in that okay using uh in during ago ah uh, 10 years ago uh, 30 years ago i was living in san francisco and I lived there from, from uh, 1981 to, uh, no, 83 to, uh, from 1983 to 1987. So I start saying events if, or, or use real uh, information about yourself. That will get you, it will come to right to mind. Any questions? Wow, what a good teacher I am. <laughs> I'm just, yes, miss. Yes. Can we use uh, over? It is an average. Um, over 60 years, over 10 years, yes, you can use. For example, I was living in San Francisco for over four years. You can use that. You can say that. Uh huh. No. Uh, so you, you can use, it's an average. Someone else have another question? Teacher, for, for yeah. example, in the, in, the, in the sentence that says, uh, since 1945, since World War II ended for about the last 60 years. Uh, I don't know, but this is kind of silly question that uh, confuses no. a little bit for, for this part that, I mean, uh, yeah. because you have to be use it with, uh, uh, since with four or, or this is something apart from, a ver, from uh, let me from, see from, which one it was the expression over there it's not a silly question it's a complete valley uh, question so um, uh, you mentioned something since what since World War II ended I mean uh, does, oh, okay. does this thing have uh -huh. to be used, uh, together with four or I mean uh, they are no. different uh, no, it depends on what says before and what says and after. If you say since World War II ended, it means that uh, from that time until now, we, we haven't had a World War III. Huh. So, so that's that's the that's the idea that gives you okay. If you say since, but you have to pay attention what it says before and what it says after, okay. So it depends if for or things or during. Uh huh. Uh, you have to pay uh, attention to that. If it will say since, it means the idea will be that there haven't been another World War Three since then, okay. 
there have been many wars around the world. Right now, you know, we have a couple, but uh, that's that's the idea. Mm -hmm. And um, I know that it's kind of difficult. Uh, well, it's when we are learning English, we we tend to switch, doing the switching. Okay, that's called switching. Uh, thinking in our own mother tongue and then try to uh, say in Spanish, but uh, at, at your level, I think that's going disappearing, okay? So uh, that's why I, I, I suggest you to say words in English, uh, phrases, and use real information uh, using this specific topic. Is there another one? Teacher, with one more question. For example, yeah. talking about these clouds before, when it says for about the last 60 years, in, uh -huh. in this case, or means that, I mean, uh, does that event continue, keep going in, um, in the present or, or is, no. is it no. ending? No, when you say before, for example, before World War II, we have World War I. Okay. So that that's the same. There, the if you use before, is something uh, that an event happened because uh, before the the main event. For example, a uh, good example that I can think of right now is that you say before World War Two there was World War One. It's it's obvious, right? Um, before I moved to my new house. I live uh, in another house in 1990, for example. So before I moved to my new house, I live somewhere else. Okay. So uh, my okay. ans am I answering the, your question? No, uh, what, what I mean, what I was trying to say is, I mean, I was talking about the clause four, four, the one that uh, goes after ended. Ah, or two, four. This okay. one. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh Okay. When you, when you use it, I mean, that means that the event has already ended, or does it continue, keep on going in the present? It is is dependent for uh, um. Let's what I see. Um, uh, I have lived here in this house for uh twenty years almost. So it means I started living here and I still here at this house. Uh -huh. I have lived at this home, at this house for uh, twenty years. Yeah, it it's uh it, it it depending on the on the sentence on the connotation. So the expression that I'm saying that I started living over here and I still continue. But for example, World War uh, One lasts for two years. Okay, so and that means World War One ended after two years of fight. Oh. Uh, it, oh. it's, it's really depending on the things. Like, again, one more quick, real quickly, because um, I have lived in this house for uh, 20 years. So honest, I came here 20 years ago and I lived. Uh, World War uh, uh, One lasts for, uh, let's say five years. So. It happened, it's gone. That was a long time ago. But it lasted four years, um, more or less. So it's oh, really okay. depending, okay? And uh, in fact, uh, Giovanni uh, uh, did the favor to look for the meaning of this one. And this is the, the one, the meaning from uh, not making propaganda, uh, the dictionary that I use online that I had something that people like or do for a short period of time. So like the uh, wearing pantalones campana, you know, that was a short. Someone uh, says, it's coming back. Yes, my wife told me, you know, uh, girls, uh, John, uh, uh, Johns or Joss or teenagers are using that again, or that fashionable for a short time. Okay, that's that's the meaning of it. Okay, uh, here, uh, if we go over this one, my answer some questions that we have. Remember that um, the rock and roll became popular about 15 years ago, and it was a hit uh, maybe uh, some period of time. 
But it's still. Ay, Dios, Manuel, dormido de estar. No, es que este compañero. But it's still in my. Uh, some people like it's still rock. So maybe started over there. It depends on the connotation. And disco became a craze like uh, in 1975. Uh, so disco is popular in, uh, until now or it's not popular anymore? Disco music. It's not popular anymore, but it's, sometimes they play uh, that music uh, in the parties. Yes, uh, it's not popular anymore. So uh, it became popular, but it's not anymore. So it depends mm -hmm. the idea that people wanted to transmit on it in 90. So just look at the expressions that we're using. And Madonna was on the music during the 19, uh, uh, 1990s, that decade. Until in the 1990 and 2000, okay? So still she's on the music, but not as much as uh, as she was. And the last, and the other one is a period of time that continues into the present. Here, remember, every time that we say since, is something that has happened in the past and continues into the present. I was uh, uh, since I was born, I had lived in El Salvador, okay? Uh, since I became a teacher, I have been teaching. So I'm still teaching now, but I will continue teaching. Uh, since uh, my birthday, uh, let's say my 40 birthdays, I'm getting younger. <laughs> Okay, it's a pen of the connotation, but it's still that uh, since my 40 birthdays, I'm getting younger. Okay, so it continued into the present. There we go. The United States has existed since 1945. The United Nations has existed for over 60 years. That's the one that you say, um, one of you asked about. But we can use for and over, for over 60 years. So means it started in a period of time and it's still available. Uh, since a point of time, since last year, since we can use since with years, days of the week, months, uh, special events, like since I was born, since I moved to San Salvador, because I grew up in a little, I was born in a little cantoncito back there in Chalatenango. Since I'm, since I graduated from the university, since I got married, since I met my girlfriend. So, and that means everything. Uh, so, and we use four for a length of time. So time for a thing. Four to weeks. Four three hours. Four a long time. Four uh, ten years. Um, four ages. Okay. So we use it over the, this one. And then a period of time in the past from to now, until now. So this is not happening anymore. World War I, two lasted from 1914 to, um, uh, we got two here, which is a preposition of, uh, of time on this, from 1945 to 1918. I live in my little cantoncito back there in Chalatenango uh, from um, 1964, 1978. From 1964 to 1978. I live in San Francisco for, from 1982, to 1987, okay? This is in your material over there. I hope that you can uh, download it. Okay, and these are the, the answers over there. 
I'm sorry, I didn't type this one for you to work, but uh, we need to, uh, to complete that one. Practice referring time in the past. Who are the people, who are the musician over there? Not the people, who are the musician over there? The Beatles. The Beatles. <laughs> The Beatles, in uh, Spanish is los, how do you call it? Um, uh, los escarabajos or something, right? <laughs> okay, so rock music has been popular more than 50 years. What well, will be the preposition over there? Boring. Or, 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 or more than 60 years. The Beatles were a well-known English band the 1960s. During. During the 1960s. Or another option? In. 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 No, in. Uh, the, the Beatles were a well-known English band during the 1960s. Uh, remember that it was 10 years. Or you can say in the 1960s. So you're referring to uh, the K over there. They performed together 10 years. Sure. For 10 years. Uh, 1960 to 1970. Things. Mm, we had two um, years. From 1960 from, to from, 1970. From, from 1960 to 1970. <clears throat> uh, it's okay if you say 70 or 70. Me, I always say 70. Okay, but it's acceptable if you use both. In, in, in what year? In what year is this one? How do you uh, read this one? 2003. 2003 okay remember if it is 19 uh if it is uh, hundreds 1700s 1600s 1800s 1900s but then you say 1900 uh, 1901 1902 etc okay in the night in 2003 the Beatles release another album even though to a the original members had already died. Uh, I guess it was uh, John Lennon and Ringo Starr, right? If I'm not mistaken. Uh, um, uh, the album was recorded in, in 1969, nearly 40 years. Oh. Ago. ago, okay, nearly 40 years ago. It's raining over here. Uh-huh, what will be? Can me ayuda a leer it? Who helped me to read that one? Uh-huh, Marlene. The grammar focus or what? Uh, number no 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 number two the paragraph. Uh, the paragraph. In, I guess that is in two thousand three, yes. the United States launched two more exploration spacecraft. Their mission, which lays, lasted, lasted. Uh, uh, help Marlene, Marlene, uh, uh, someone else will help you. No, uh, with, the, with the expression over there, what will be, guys, which lasted four? Four. 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 Uh -huh, four. Exactly. Four. Which lasted four more. Continue, Marlene. Which lasted four more than a year was to gather information about the rocks, soil, and atmosphere on Mars using rubber so spirit and opportunity. The rubber section longer than anyone expected. Science sciences. Scientists. Mm -hmm. Scientists. So they will last only four, four months on Mars. 
for only? Uh, would last. Uh, can we help Marlene? Four. Uh -huh. Okay, Carlita. Four, four only four, four only months. Four months on Mars. Mm -hmm. on Mars. In uh, that time. Uh -huh. In Think. that time. Uh, who said another uh, expression over there? Giovanni is saying during. Okay, that oh. time they have sent. Uh -huh. During that time they have sent back thousands of live pictures of the surface of Mars. Okay. 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 Let's see how you did. Oh, there is a uh, over there for more than 50 years during for 10 from uh, 1960 to 70 in 1969, uh, nearly uh, 40 years ago. Some people say a go, I, I don't know, they're a go, but uh, I, I think it's a go. And then in 19, uh, in 2003, for more than, in or during, and ah, and for. Did we get it right? Man, it's raining hard over here. Raining cats and dogs. I teacher, one question. In in this part that, that says for uh for months on March, you have in endurance. So it, uh, it wouldn't be better to to, to uh to use things. Uh, the last part, uh, this one, you mean this one over here or this one over here? The last, the last uh, one. Uh, the last one. Uh, let's uh, see, uh, in, the, in that time, they have sent back thousands of live pictures <laughs> during that time. Oh, it's both. It's okay. Both it sounds, um, grammatically speaking, sounds very good. So, okay. Can I use since? No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. You can, because they send it, uh, and nothing to do with the present. Uh, they send it, and uh, that's it. That that was it. Okay, and the surface. Um. Because uh, they are not, they are not going frequent, uh, uh, frequently, so they are not going back and forward. For, I mean, forward and back, for, forward and back. So that's why you you had to use in that time or during that time. Okay. Okay. So as I can say, guys, uh, say sentences about your real life. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> And I send you the audios. I hope that you can practice this one. The little bigger render is the word or the, the stress on the on the on the word is it. Okay, they have a, a, a like a big stress, uh, uh, a, a big stress, and then you go down, up and down. So for example, ident five so you go up and then down and then you go up up again so this is a i was watching a video like uh what it were how to learn where the stresses are on the word and there's such a whole class over there but let's try to make as possible the the sound as issue sound so let me uh play this. page 65 Exercise four, pronunciation, syllable stress. Part A, listen and practice. Notice which syllable has the main stress in these four and five syllable words. 
Notice the secondary stress. Identify. Disadvantage. Communication. Okay. Uh, no microphones encendidos. No turn it up. Uh, repeat the words. I hope that you can practice uh, at home with the audios that I share with you. Okay, so uh, I will make a pause and you repeat the word. Page 65, exercise four, pronunciation, syllable stress, part A, listen and practice. Notice which syllable has the main stress in these four and five syllable words. Notice the secondary stress. Identify. Everybody, say the word. Next one. Disadvantage. Say the Communication. word. Communication. Disadvantage. Uh, sorry. Okay. Identify. Disadvantage. Communication. Uh, how many syllables identify? How many syllables? Four syllables. Four, Four syllables. Yeah. E, then T, Y. Uh, disadvantage. How many syllables? Five. Uh, let me see. Four. Uh, four or five syllables. Yeah. Uh, help me with the microphone over there. Okay, uh, five, disadvantage, five syllables. Communication, okay? So which syllables, let's listen to the rest. Uh, you only have one audio over there. The thing is that uh, I have two because I always edit the audios according to the purpose of the class or the, or the goal of the class. Okay, let's listen first. Only listen first. Oh my God. Page 65, exercise four, part B. Listen to the words in the box. Which syllable has the main stress? Write the words in the correct column in part A. Appreciate. Assassination. Catastrophe. Consideration. Conversation. Revolution. Okay. Uh, read the words and a piece of paper or the material if you have printed with a pen. Try to put the words and the column that they belong, okay? And the repetition, I'll leave it to you as, as your own practice. Let me play the audio again. Page 65, exercise four, part B. Listen to the words in the box. Which syllable has the main stress? Write the words in the correct column in part A. Appreciate. Assassination. Catastrophe. Consideration. Conversation. Revolution. Okay, in order, how many, oh, we're doing okay. We're doing just great with uh, slides. Appreci appreciate, where will you put it? Uh, first, second, or third column? First column, second column. For, uh, first, second, okay. Assassination. 
Second one. Second. Second. Okay. Hold on your answers over there. Catastrophe. Third one. The first Third. one. Okay. The first one. Consideration. The third one. Okay. The third one. Conversation. The second one. The second one. Revolution. First one. Okay, First one. hold on your answers and check it out over there. Catastrophe, appreciation. You see, this one I need to practice the, the second word, okay? So uh, please uh, use the audio, repeat the words. That will help you a lot. Okay, and revolution, it was on the second one. And conversation on the second one. It's okay if we make mistakes. That's complete valid. And uh, assassination, communication, and consideration. Okay, so those are the answers that I got from, <laughs> from the teacher's guides. <laughs> okay. So this is the thing that I we I leave you that uh, for you to practice. Okay. Historic events. What is the learning uh, the learning objective? Learn vocabulary for discussing history events. History event. We have the first word is. What is it? Uh, with the best example. Achievement. Uh -huh. Achievement. It's, it's G. 19... Sir Edmund Hillary and the first guys in Norway were the first to reach the summit of Mount Everest. So that is achievement. Give me another another example of, of achievement. You can you can use your own. For example, when uh, when you know the the jury, uh, jury gargarine, how do you call the man that to the to the moon? How do you call that man? Uh, the astronaut. The spaceman. Astronaut. Okay. Uh -huh. The jury gargarine. No, that, that was Neil Armstrong. That was the, the first American that landed on the moon. On the moon. Uh, that, uh, that was um, Neil Armstrong achievement. 78. 78. That mm -hmm. was an achievement. <laughs> exactly. And what about the Salvadorian? Did he have an achievement? Well, uh, uh, American Salvadorian. Sure. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Rubio, Rubio, Rubio. Mm -hmm. uh, on his first uh, long mission. On yeah, the, he's how, a, how do you call that spacecraft? Uh, I don't remember, but it's a, spa uh, a spacecraft, a, sp uh, a space in station, a, in international spacecraft. Yeah, a space in, a, a station, international space station. Yes. On, Ah, correct. Uh -huh. That was the longest uh, mission. Yes, in, that he has. So Earth. his achievement is uh, being the first human being out of uh, the Earth, uh, staying in space for a longer time. That's his achievement. My achievement, for example, is uh, to become a teacher, okay? Graduated from the university. That is an achievement, okay? So for you, um, your achievement is uh, that you speak English. That's a good achievement, okay? So everything that we do in Finnish, that's achievement. And uh, assassination. <clears throat> Any idea of assassination? If... If... Yeah, yes. it, it has to do with the John F. Kennedy. Kennedy. Yeah, it has to do with the 1993. Yeah. 
It has, to, it has to do with uh, John F. Kennedy. And disaster. Letter A. Letter A, the luxury oh. Titanic, yes. It's uh, sunk in the North Atlantic in the ocean. Now they saying that it was it wasn't an iceberg that hit the the boat. I don't know. I'm not going to to talk about. It. Okay, discover, discovery. I'm Let sorry. Be, sir. Ah, Let it be. Let it, uh -huh. In nineteen uh, in two thousand three, a dinosaur with letters. Uh huh. A dinosaur with pairs for wings was found in China. B, 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 B. Ah, B. epidemic? No. Letter B, B, the... The cellular telephone was developed. Disco discover, discovery. The cellular telephone was discovered. Yes, let it be. Let it be. Uh, let it be. The cell phone was developed Ah, no. You know, one of the things is that there are some inventions, the inventions and then are yeah, discoveries. Yeah, uh -huh. Yeah, uh -huh. For example, the, the penicillin is not an invention. It's a discovery. A discovery because it was discovered by accident. So an invention is something that humans created. Okay, that's the difference between uh, discover and invention. Okay, so epidemic, uh, it was D, D right? Yeah, Since, uh -huh, the uh, HB, HIV, and invention, that's the D. one that you're saying. D. Uh -huh, B, the, cell, the, uh, the cellular back. phone uh, developed in Sweden about 15 years ago. But uh, why they say in Sweden it was it was uh, Martin Cooper, or maybe it was during um, before Martin Cooper. I understood that it was Mart Martin Cooper, the one who invented the the mobile phone. I don't know. Okay, terrorist act. Let us see. Let us see. Four planes we hijacked in the United States. Okay, that was uh, September 11, 2001. So hijack. Um, it, when you say, when you take something that is not yours and machine or something, you say hijack. But when you take uh, someone, it's like, uh, what is what is it called? It slipped my mind the word the, the correct word for um to ah kidnap kidnap someone when you uh take someone by force that's kidnap and when you take a machine it's hijack an, an airplane okay I think this is the one that I wanted to so because I wanted to go to this one I know okay uh, I will send you over here Okay, I will give you like three, uh, like two minutes. Think about uh, to answer those questions, okay? And uh, take an historic event that has happened in El Salvador, something that you remember real good, okay? Because if you want to be fluently or you're talking on your speech, you need to remember the event real, real, real good. So what happened? When did it happen? Oh, in 2000, uh, uh, 2021, there was a big storm and a lot of people um, unfortunately lost their ho uh, homes. And uh, uh, some of the people unfortunately uh, died in these uh, big storms because there were many flus, uh, the water everywhere. And and this uh, okay, and families were taken away from the places that they they were living, et cetera, et cetera. And then did they change things for Madeleine? Some of the families change for Madeleine, but uh, it changes the 
the topography no it's not the topography it's the uh, uh the 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 place where the people live because and now they uh it's impossible to live there and uh, so so i'm talking about the storm that it happened like in 2021 okay uh but i'm just trying to illustrate over there I will send you in group of three for about uh, seven minutes in a breakout rooms, but please help uh, attend a go with the breakout room that you that I send you and try to talk about, okay? Um, uh, talk about an event that you remember or something that is uh, what happened, uh, say, uh, uh, what happened, when it happened in 2021, it was in November, uh, what's the immediate effect of the country? Well, the country was uh, all business, all uh, work were kind of stops, family were uh, worried about it and because their homes were permanent, were damaged by the storm. I'm just trying to illustrate, okay? So please try to think about, do you comprend it? More or less? <laughs> yes, teacher. Okay, okay. Talk about something that you remember, uh, okay? So the idea is to communicate. Okay, I'll, it's uh, 10, so I will give you like six minutes, okay? And the breakup room. Uh, how many are we? Uh, Teacher, yes, twenty-five. Could you could you send in the chat uh, the conversation, please? Uh, let me see. Let me see. Okay. Um. Uh, I hope that you get that you got it. Uh, Mr. Lopez, just to confirm, um, I got you that we are going to talk about our own events, right? Yeah, think on an event that you remember, uh, not your own event, an event that has happened in the country, but okay. an event that you remember very well, okay? So in order to be more um, fluently on your speech. Okay, wonderful. Thank okay, you. not your own person, uh, as, as a person, I mean... Let me see if I, okay, there are the instructions and the questions. Uh, time is running, yeah, time is going real quickly. Uh, we are 26, including me. So how many uh, breakout rooms and trios? 20. How many breakout rooms, guys? Uh, eight, eight, I guess. Uh, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. We need to include one to uh, another world. Yeah. No, I will include like uh, four and three, okay? Uh, six minutes. I will give you six minutes, okay? Uh, Hola, hermano, buenas noches. Okay, they are open. Accept the invitation, please.
Hello. Hello. Hi, Xiomara. Sofia, how are you? <clears throat> There's nobody there, teacher. <laughs> uh, yeah, Sofia is there, but she doesn't answer. I don't know. Maybe she has issues uh, with the computer. Okay, Xiomara, uh, tell me about an event that you remember that has happened in El Salvador. Um, the COVID. Okay, yeah. tell a little bit yeah. about it. It was uh, in 2020. Mm -hmm. uh, I, my, my kids uh, were uh, studying at the school and suddenly we received the, the, the notice, uh, how do you say, uh, the news. And I can hear you. Yeah, uh, you said the news. <laughs> uh, my my microphone was was off, but uh, uh sorry. Yeah, yes. uh -huh. um, we have to stop any activity, and 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 since since that uh, event happened, uh, we we stayed at home and. It was very, uh, very, very difficult to to get out, uh, okay. to get uh, uh, the uh, things uh, to buy uh, and at the supermarket, and everything was uh, terrible for okay. me. And how um, and how did the family? Uh, I, I'll ask you a silly question. How does the fam? How the fa did the family? Uh, was affected. To my to my daughter, uh -huh. uh, I think, and my grand, uh, my grand, uh, my dad, uh, affected a lot because he's a. Uh, a driver for a, mm -hmm. in a taxi, oh. and and my my daughter was affected too because uh, she at uh, the middle of the year uh, was very anxious, very depressed. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if uh, because of his age, uh, he was mm -hmm. uh, sixteen years old at the mm -hmm. time. Okay. And the only the only one I still work out, I was uh, it was me. Uh, I just I worked every day, uh, because I uh, I work uh, in a call center in Spanish, of course. <laughs> <laughs> no, but now you can work in, in English. <laughs> uh -huh. And I was the. Uh, the only which says five more colleagues and, uh, and that was very very difficult because was... uh, yes uh, the the callings always were there uh, and we and we were uh, very few people to attend uh, many calls. Oh yeah, everybody got affected. Oh good, Simara. Um, well done, excellent. Congratulations. Okay, mm -hmm. I think it's time to go back to the main room to attend and then say goodbye. Okay, let's go okay. back. To, let's go back to the main room. Okay.
I'm a sober teacher. Your microphone is off. Thank you. Okay, let me start it again. Uh, Ana Ivania, Janice. Daniela. Ivan... Ah? Pres present. Ah, okay. <laughs> uh, Daniela Alejandro Janes. I'm sorry, Ana Ivania Guevara and uh, Guevara. <laughs> uh, sí. yes, teacher, Daniel Alejandro Llanes, Eduardo Jose Melgar, I'm here, teacher. Francisco Antonio Calderón, Gab Gabriel Jose Hernández, Francisco Antonio Calderón, Gabriel Jose Hernández, If someone sees someone on the chat, let me know because I, I cannot see the chat right now. Uh, Gabriel Jose, Giovanni Stanley. I'm here. Hector Ivan Perez. Uh, Ivan Ibrahim, Ibrahim Ramirez. <inaudible> Janet Carolina Rivera. Janet. Jorge Alberto Rivera. Present teacher. Eh, Jose Lino Alvarenga. I'm here, teacher. Julio, Julio Cesar Campos. Present, mister. Eh, Carla Selena Hernández. Present, teacher. Eh, Carla René Delgado. Present, teacher. Catherine Lisbeth Espinosa. Present, teacher. Luis Eduardo Méndez. Present. Eh, Marlene Elizabeth Valle. Present teacher. Melissa Stephanie Linares. Present. Eh, Michelle Beatriz Díaz. Present. Eh, Neptalia Antonio Mejía Miranda. Present teacher. Eh, Oscar Alexander Santana. Present teacher. Eh, Oscar Obdulio Amador. Present. Eh, Romeo Vladimir. Present. Sara Elisa Belloso. Present. Sofía Elizabeth Pérez. Present. Wendy Paola López. Wendy. Xiomara Violeta Salazar. Present. And Jenny Carolina Ardón. Present, present teacher. Eh, teacher, I'm sorry, eh, Wendy Paola, present. Okay, thank you, thank you, Wendy. Okay, guys, see you tomorrow. Have a, a good night. Remember to practice, please. Good night. Okay, bye, teacher. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.